Here we have 13 years worth of data showing Wake Tech's student population. Oftentimes, we're asked to generate a model to predict the population in a given year, and we're given years listed as four-digit numbers. The problem with this is that if we were to generate the model from these four-digit years, it would consider year zero to be about 2,000 years ago, and that would give us a lot of rounding error in our model, so it wasn't very good for making predictions. Here's how we can get around that problem. First, start by inserting a column between the columns that you have, or if your data is in rows, insert an extra row. Now in this blank column, we're going to put in the number of years since our starting year. In this case, that's years since 1997. Then we can go ahead and fill this in with the years since 1997. So in 97, that's zero years later. In 1998, it's one year later, and so on with our entire data set. Now, when you're generating your chart, highlight the two columns with the years since your starting year, and then the, the dependent variable along with it, and use that to make the chart. Don't forget to use the first chart layout to put in the chart title and the axis labels. Once you've got everything labeled, you can right-click on a data point and go to Add Trend Line, and it puts in the model for you. Inevitably, it will put it where you can't read it because it's on top of the line. So click and drag the equation to move it somewhere you can see it. Now our equation takes x, as it's showing here, as years since 1997, and we can see that according to our model, if we were to plug in 0 for x, we'd have that 10,866 for 1997, which is not far from the actual 1997 number of students.